The revived photo program here at OSU has an exhibition in Fairbanks Gallery featuring three artists, Lorenzo Tribergo, Carrie Scarbaca, and Julia Bradshaw. These three artists are actually professors in the program as well. Well, first of all, the photo program I'm like, super excited about right now, um, you know, with Julia Bradshaw and Carrie Scarbucka, like, I think we have some really, ex they're creating really exciting work, and uh, I think the opportunity to learn from them is uh, something I think students should take advantage of. It's not every day we get to see the artistry of our professors and what they're passionate about. But right now, in Fairbanks Gallery, students have the opportunity to see what three OSC faculty members have been up to outside of the classroom. Um, yeah, so this series is called Transportraits, and it's um, a project that I worked on for about five years. Um, and they're all portraits of transgender men that I photographed in front of uh, landscape paintings that I created. I, I think part of creativity is kind of grappling with the issues maybe that, that are hard to talk about, right? That's where I think artists come in, is to talk about things that are are maybe hard to talk about in general. Kerry Skarbaka uses his body as a metaphor to represent tension and anxiety. He achieves this through photographing himself falling from an array of heights and locations. I don't want to die, and I've already put myself in some pretty hairball situations, so I, I really um, I try to emphasize safety over everything, and that's what takes the most time. While Kerry does go out on a limb to achieve the perfect shot, he doesn't always succeed at capturing the right moment on the first try. I went through the window again four times for the next four days, 4.30 in the afternoon, um, doing this over and over till I got enough images together, the right body, the right breaking glass in the right places. And where the right breaking glass didn't happen, I would even hang a couple of these things like maybe this stick or whatever from some monofilament wire from somewhere to kind of create a more sculptural look to things. There is a, so there's a lot more of my hand in this. His incredible work is well known and appreciated internationally. There was, however, a bit of controversy over a photo where he carried dangled from the sky outside of a Chicago building. Negative opinions arose saying it was insensitive to 9-11 and the falling man, when this was never Carrie's intention at all. The situation was misconstrued at the time and caused a significant amount of grief. They were canvassing my neighborhood with cameras, uh, asking my neighbors why I was defaming the jumpers, the, their, possibly their friends, because you know, st the dust is still had not settled uh, fully. And so this is really tough. Uh, people looking for me with baseball bats, um, death threats, and a lot of misunderstanding. While it's not always possible to please everyone, the few who find a sense of wonder in artistry can make it worthwhile. And a young girl came up to, to the piece and she asked her mother, said, Mommy, why is he dancing in the sky? And she was quick to, to say, no, no, honey, he's falling. And I stopped and I said, wait a second, wait a second, I love that idea. I am dancing in the sky. Julia created these sketchbook-inspired pieces to show students that they can still create something good from an old dark room by using technique and material versus editors on Photoshop. Creativity is kind of like risk-taking. I really feel that um, to be creative you have to take risks. It's a very freeing thing that the more creative you are, the more playful you are, the more um, willing you are to be a little bit ridiculous or silly or try something new. Students interested in entering the world of art and photography should take advantage of the resources available to them right here on campus. And you're going to fail and that's okay. But if you're putting in the effort and you're taking risks, you're going to succeed. Being both a professor and an artist is a substantial time commitment. Lorenzo shared how he manages his work and his students. Um, I don't sleep ever. Um, no, uh, I basically I think because I love both. I think one feeds the other. Like I, I'll look at art and get inspired by it and then share it with my students and get inspired by what they say about it and it's just really cyclical and it's um, just an energy that goes back and forth and I think um, being an educator is yeah totally in, uh, informs my art practice. I love it. If you're interested in stopping by the exhibit will be open until March 10th. This is Camelin Bovinet with the Beaver News.